Okay. So one area that I wanted to talk about has to do with slots and keys and how it pertains to the Elite Desk Pro Desk. Because there's been some confusion as to what can be used in the various units. And I thought it would be good just to have kind of a, you know, a primer, a, an explainer, something about those, um, you know, what, what does it mean when we talk about these different, what I call sort of notches, or, you know, keys. So there's basically four kinds out there. There's the A, B, E, and M. So for your common Wi-Fi card, tends to be what we call, it. this is an M.2 slot or an M.2 card, and it has A and E, and you can actually see it on the actual card. These are known as, you know, uh, for the Wi-Fi card, this will not fit into what you would normally think of as a M.2, you know, SSD slot, because it has those notches on there. These are made for a specific slot, an M.2 slot that's, that's set up for doing Wi-Fi. The next common have to do with the B and M slots. And you'll see here, you can actually see the letters B and M. This is what I would normally call an M.2 SATA type of, of drive because it does have the two slots or two keys, notches, keys, whichever. You notice on this one just has M. So this is an NVMe. And if you were to line them up, you can see that they both have the same M slot, but the SATA has the B. Now you have to have a slot that, that's able to accept and hold in and can do both. Some will do both, some will only do one, and sometimes it's a case where the even though you might be able to fit an NVMe in there, it's not going to necessarily work or vice versa. You'll notice too is that of course these drives do come in different sizes. This is a 2230, this is a 2242. Has to do with the fact that it's 22 millimeters wide and this particular one is 30 high, this is 42 high, and this is a 2280. Um, they do have ones that are 2260. I think there's even like a 22100 or 110 that's even longer. That's, that's very, not as common. Then you might ask, well, what's this? This is one that would normally be known as like mini PCIe. This is uh, kind of an older Wi-Fi that would fit into maybe like your um, HP 260G1. Uh, sometimes they call it a mini PCIe half height. This particular arrangement also looks like something known as M SATA or mini SATA. The M mini SATA these days is very hard to find. I was looking through the units I have, and none of them take MSATA. Uh, you'll see those on sometimes some of the um, HP Thin clients will take the MSATA. So it will be an actual drive. It will be tiny like this. It will have the, the notches, and the notches are the same as what you'd see on the mini PCIe, but they're not interchangeable because the hardware or the slot has to understand and what what to do with, you know, doing and talking MSATA versus mini PCIe. So that would be the difference there. So let's start with the, uh, I think I'm going to use a ProDesk G1, and let's see what types of um, slots uh, will fit in there, what type of keyed uh, drives will work, which ones we can boot from, etc. So here we have our Elite Desk 800 G1 Mini. We can see that it uses the A and E for its Wi-Fi. The one other M.2 slot is under here, so I'm going to take that out. 
and we'll look at the um, drive underneath. I know that it will accept a NVMe, which is the um, M slot or M key. So here we have a M key NVMe. And it goes right in, so we know that will fit. I know that this will boot for the NVMe. Once, of course, you do the BIOS uh, modification to allow it to boot for NVMe, this is the B and M keyed SATA drive. Let's see if that fits. It actually does. We're going to put everything back together. This is a bootable NVMe, and we're going to see if we can actually boot from it. Excuse me. This is a bootable SATA M.2 drive. So I ended up putting in a uh, two and a half inch um, SATA drive so I could at least boot uh, because it would not boot from that uh, M.2 SATA. And it looks like it doesn't even recognize the um, drive at all. So that's interesting because I know that this particular unit I can boot from an NVMe M.2 without a problem. So good to know that um, it, if you're going to upgrade or want to use that slot, make sure to get a uh, NVMe one, which you'd probably want to do anyway. It's faster and, um, you know, it's, it, you know, at least it's not one of these cases where uh, newer technology doesn't work, work with it. On the Elite Desk um, 800 G2 Mini, same result is that you can't boot from a SATA M.2 and of course it also doesn't show up, which kind of makes sense because the um, they would have to create a slot that would support both technologies, which is doable. I mean, they have external adapters um, in which you can stick in both a, a SATA or an NVMe drive and they're both seen. So it is doable, but probably in this context, it's not um, really needed. I don't think we're gonna see a difference with um, the G3 and G4, but uh, I'll give it a try just for curiosity. I wanted to point out a couple others that are, that we've used on the channel. This particular one goes into the Wi-Fi slot. And then on the other side, you can put in a M key uh, NVMe into it and then now you've got an, an extra um, port for you know uh, another drive basically. This is one that would be used in a um, mini PCIe slot. Tried using this one but uh, the space was a little too tight but this would go into the um, mini PCIe and on this side, same idea is that you could put, let's say, a 2230 uh, M.2 in that slot, and that would work. This is kind of, uh, it's, it's got some use, but basically it goes into your Wi-Fi slot, turns it 90 degrees, and then you can put something on here, such as another one of these adapters. The problem is, is it kind of, it doesn't, it's really made to go this way inside of a... Uh, you know, like a, more of a, a standard type of motherboard. But, uh, so there's really no way to, to secure it to the motherboard. This one goes into the Wi-Fi, and then at the other end, you've got an actual um, uh, PCI slot that you could uh, connect a uh, board to, and there's a video on that showing it. So hopefully by seeing some of the stuff on this video, you can get a better idea of the differences so that when people are talking about, well, what, what works, what doesn't work, and they're talking about uh, you know notches and slots and keys and so forth, you understand uh, the different types so that you can differentiate, especially when you're dealing with older units or maybe you're looking at uh, Dell's or at um, Lenovo's and they have their own ones. A uh, perfect example was that um, I've got one of the older Dells, and that's what I ended up 
putting or using to have this guy, the um, bootable SATA, this is, I created it on that, uh, that Dell, so it worked perfectly fine on it. It's just that on the HPs, it's using newer technology, so it only works with the um, NVMe drives.